Hi, in this video tutorial, you will learn how to create a wavy flag like this, to this. So we do not need the texture of fabric to be made as its displacement but we make it ourselves in Photoshop, safely follow. First, open the flag image to be edited into Photoshop in this example. I've used an image with that SVG extension. Click File menu and click Open. Locate the flag image that will be edited in Photoshop. In this example I placed it in the desktop. Select it and click Open. Because here I used that SVG file. Then there will be a dialog for setting the dimensions of the image so I click OK. Then Photoshop will rasterize SVG into bitmap file. Now, create a new document. By click File, New. As an example, here I create a new document with the dimensions of 1280, 720. For the resolution, I used 150 dpi. For the background content, I choose white color and click create button. Now go to flag document and drag and drop into the new document. Or you can right-click the layer, and choose Duplicate Layer. In the Document field, select the Untitled One document. You can give any name you like. After it, click OK button. Now the flag image will be placed in the new document. We need to resize the flag image to be small, so open Free Transform, and resize it slightly. Click and drag the corner at the Transform tool while holding Shift on your keyboard. Press the Ctrl or Command N to zoom out the document. Set the flag size more or less like on this video. If finished, click this icon to commit the change or you can press Enter or Return key. Press the Ctrl or Command with Alt or Option plus 0 on your keyboard to zoom in your document. Now decrease the flag opacity in about half. Select the background layer and create a blank new layer by click this icon. Now choose the brush tool, or you can press B on your keyboard. Make sure the opacity and flow settings is used 100% and foreground color set to black. Now paint some vertical line with your brush. Feel free to play around and make sure your brush hardness setting is 0%. Be sure to use different diameters of brush sizes while making a vertical line. You can press left or right bracket on your keyboard to change the brush diameter. After completed to draw any vertical lines, merge down layer 1 with background layer. Right click on layer 1 and click Merge Down Menu, it will merge layer 1 with background layer. And now go to Filter, Blur and choose Gaussian Blur. And set the value to the vertical picture could be blurry between black and white but do not get too crazy in implementing this filter use your sense. In this example, I've used blur value in about 20 pixel when you get the best result, then click OK. Now go to Channel tab, and select the blue channel. Right click on it, and select Duplicate Channel. In the Document field, choose New, and give a name a map. Then click OK. Convert the map document into the grayscale, click Image menu, under Mode, choose Grayscale. Now save the map document into your desktop to easier for you to locate save in that PSD extension. Now, you can close map document. Go back to project document, while still in tab channel, make sure to select RGB layer, and click the layer tab again. Turn on and select the flag layer by clicking the icon, and change the opacity to 100% again. Right click on flag layer, and choose convert to smart object. Turn off the flag layer, and then select background layer, then go to filter, stylize, emboss.
You can follow my settings, or you can play around with your own setting. Keep experiment. To notice, not to make settings that would yield securities are black or white, give effect results in black or white does not stand each other mutually. And click OK to give the FX. Now select the flag layer, and turn it on by click the eye icon. Then go to filter, to start. Click OK when finish. A new dialog has appeared to select the map or displacement filter and select map ESD as we saved an earlier step. As you can see, now the surface of the flag has been changed to follow the groove in the background underneath. Now duplicate background layer, drag and place it on top of all layers. Place your mouse pointer in between top layer and flag layer while holding Alt or Option, and click the layer when the pointer has changed. Here, it's mean we create a clipping mask on the top layer. Now change the blending mode to multiply for top layer. And turn off the background layer by click the eye icon. Select the top layer and press Ctrl or Command plus A to load all selection. Then press Ctrl or Command plus C to copy this image. And click the tab channel. Create new channel by clicking this icon. Then paste the copied image into Alpha 1 channel by pressing Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus C. Now select the flag layer, and click Filter, Render, Lightning Effects. On the texture setting, click it and select Alpha 1. For other settings, please do the experiment yourself. Experiments will change your sense. When you're happy with the result, then click OK to confirm the FX. Now select the background layer, and click this icon to create new blank layer. Swap the foreground color to white, then select Paint Bucket Tool. Click and hold to find it. After selected, click on the document to fill it with white color. After that you are free to give another adjustment. In this example I've used level to adjust the contrast, and don't forget to clipping this adjustment only for top layer. And from here the process of granting the FX is already finished, and your creativity is what keeps required to play. Okay, I hope this video is useful for you. Press like button or share this video, and feels free to subscribe photo dig channel to get upcoming video. Thanks for watching, bye.